Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, I want to uh, put out a challenge to all the followers of James White and uh, who think that uh, James White is actually uh, some type of deep thinker. Uh, in his work on the uh, King James Only controversy on page 284, he notes that uh, in Acts 9-7 and Acts 22-9, he claims there's a, uh, a contradiction in the King James Bible. And uh, he states here that the, he says, the alleged contradiction exists only in the King James Version, not in modern translations like New American Standard Bible or NIV. Luke, the physician, did not con contradict himself as he differ differentiated the Greek terms used to record Paul's story in Acts 9 and 22. The AV translation, though, does not distinguish between the different uses of the terms, leading to the, uh, the alleged contradiction. Unfortunately, this kind of ambiguity is a common problem in the King James Version. Now, the King James reads, And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Acts 22, 9. And they that, with me, and they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. Now, in case anybody doesn't know, a contradiction is uh, to assert the contrary or opposite of, denied directly and categorically. So the challenge to those people who think that James White is some type of deep thinker, uh, and here he is saying that there's some alleged contradiction in the uh, King James Bible, uh, Acts 9, 9, 7, Acts 22, 9. Uh, to show me the contradiction between somebody saying they heard a voice, but not the voice. There is no contradiction. This is, again, this is an uh, indication of what a shallow thinker uh, Bob uh, James White is, uh, where he can't even tell what a contradiction is. The fact is that the reading doesn't line up to how he thinks the reading should read. But the fact of the matter is, is that the people in 9-7 uh, who were Paul heard a voice. What they didn't hear is a the voice. No contradiction there. So clearly what the problem is with the James White and those who follow him, those who follow this, you know, who read this piece of trash, uh, they think somehow that this guy can think. And uh, the fact is, is that he doesn't know what a contradiction is, and he's claiming that in the King James Bible. So this is a challenge to those who uh, think that James White is some deep thinker and uh, uh, that, uh, that, you know, we're supposed to, he's a, he, you know, he, knows, he knows all these logical terms. Uh, circular reasoning and things like that. Uh, show the contradiction. Show me where the uh, fact is the people who are with Paul uh, could, uh, uh, it's impossible for them to hurt, have heard a voice, and, uh, uh, but not have, not have heard the voice. Show me that's a contradiction. Fact is, there is none. And this is the same guy who can't tell the difference between a definite article in English, and, but he wants you to go into the Greek and tell you that he's going to tell you what the Greek says. He came and read his own language. So again, there it stands. There's the uh, great James White who doesn't know what a contradiction is and is accusing the King James Bible of having one when in fact all you have to do is know the difference between a definite article in English and an indefinite article. The people with Paul heard a voice, but they didn't hear the voice. Amen. Thank you.